Hey, hey. Well, happy Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. We had a fire revival last night, did we not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, Pastor Derek Snodgrass from Texas, he uh, has taken the church there in Texas pastoring and was supposed to preach. He was. And so all of a sudden, you know, things switch and change and slide in a different direction sometimes in a revival service. And that's when the test comes. If you're going to go with what the Lord wants to do or you go with your agenda. Right. And so we came to that place in the service and Pastor Todd was on the stage and I'm on the floor and we're watching one another. And we knew yep. it's time just to let the Lord have his way. And of course, Pastor Derek, he's so precious. He just said, you know what? whatever God wants. Amen. And we had a breakthrough last night, and it was just magnificent. So yes. last week, we go from Pastor Matt Scott from Moody, Alabama, calling in the fear, fear of, of the God. Lord, you know? Yes. And, and nobody's moving that night. Nobody. No. no. And then last night, we went after prodigals. We had yeah. people filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We had people saved. And I believe it was over 100 that were uh, water baptized, immersed in the Amazing. water. And we had our children's revival yes, service. Yes, we did. And your husband preached. He did. Come Two. on. He so good. Great. And so we had some, some children come in to be baptized as well. But it was a powerful day. Yes, it was. It was just a powerful day. And the Lord never ceases to amaze us. He's doing what only he can do. Yeah. And we just get to co-labor. We do. With him. That's what I like to call it. And that's what it is. It's co-laboring with the Lord. It's not us doing everything and him just sitting in the back. And it's not him doing everything. Yeah. It's the body of Christ getting involved. Yeah. So what's your take on it? You were in there with us. You were oh, on the my... other side of the room. I could barely see you. Oh, way my there. goodness. <laughs> yeah. So I was playing kind of both fields, if you will, because my husband's preaching. So he had such a good word. But like there's fire going on in the sanctuary and there's kids fire going on over here. And so just to watch him move. Um, and I just want to know, I know this is a Caneo audience, and so we want to know, like, where are you from, and have you been here? Have you been here? Let us know in the comments. Have you been to Dawsonville yet? Have you experienced revival here? Because I think the biggest takeaway is when you come, just ask Jesus what he has for you, because he is going to meet you exactly how he wants to meet you, how you need to be met, and then he is going to, my prayer Pastor Karen, listen, my prayer lately has been that the fire starters would come, Amen. get lit, and be sent. And that's what I think speaks to our Caneo audience because our students want revival. The revival sits on the shoulders of Caneo students. Pastor exactly. Todd always yes. says that. And so to watch what's not only being burst right here in Dawsonville, but the fires that are starting all throughout the nation because of Caneo campuses and revival pastors and churches, friends, there is no better time than now to be alive, in and my I, opinion. You know, I think when people do come, and a lot of our Caneo students are a result of the revival service. Yes. They have been. And so they come. And they get touched, and then they say to themselves, now what do we do? Yes. Now what do we do? We have got to get trained. We've got to Amen. know what we're talking about. We've got to know the word. I want to go deeper. Amen. I know there's more. How can I find more? And the next thing we know, they're in, enrolling in Caneo. So yes. that's the plan. That's the plan. When you have the Lord touch you, you're responsible for what he's done in your life. And we owe him everything. Yeah, we, we do. owe him everything. So you need to learn how to steward what the Lord does in your life. When he touches you, you need to learn to steward that and build on that mm -hmm. and go from being a follower to being a disciple of his. And again, that's how we've picked up so many, many of our students, yeah. many of our campuses that are nationwide. Many of you have come to Dawsonville or you've gone to a revival church in your area that are experiencing the immersions and the miracles. And you've you've caught the fire. Yeah. And then said, now what do I do? I've got to get equipped. So I can feel the audience, and they're asking a question. And what they, they want to know, <laughs> is there a deal coming up on registration? And so, Pastor Karen, can you pull some strings right now? Like, just just let me give them a little something. What just you think? Just so happens. What you think? Just so happens. Yes. So we are going to open up registration normally happens in July. That's true. Full and month going, of July. going to happen in July. But coming May the 21st through the 27th, so write that down, May 21st through the 27th, we're calling it seven days in May. Yes. And that during that time, that week, that week period there, about seven days, we're going to open registration. And it's going to be at the rate of $25 registration fee for fall classes coming up. 
All right, so fall class is coming up uh, for the new school year. Now, we're about halfway through the school year right now. We're, we're, we're really over halfway. It's true. Can you believe it? No. I'm entering my third. I only have two classes left a year, too. I've only got, that's right. We've it's got crazy. two classes and one and two. And then Pastor Jeff and Dr. Lairdon, they've got their classes. They're wrapping up pretty soon as well. So, again, normally registration is in July. But we're going to take those seven days, seven days in May, the 21st the through the 27th, on those days, you can register for $25. Now, come July, it doubles. Now, wait. So, I need to know in the comments, who knows that they're either going to start Caneo in the fall or they're a returning student in the fall. I right. need you to say in the comments, that's me. I'm in because we're trying to get you the most bang for your buck here. A discounted registration fee just for seven days in May. And... That might be my birthday week, so you might want to check for maybe a little extra fun coming from me <laughs> in the style of a giveaway. I'm just saying. Just saying. I like to celebrate a little bit. So, July, if you miss it, which you shouldn't because you're going to comment, I'm in, that's me. But July, what happens the full month of July? The entire month of July, registration will open back up, and then it goes to $50 for your registration fee. And this is a registration fee. Everyone pays registration fee. Um, when you enroll for Caneo with your online campus, whatever, or your one of our extended campuses, that's the fee for July. So it'll be the 1st of July all the way to the end of July. But you don't want to wait. Again, as Amber said, if you know you're in, yep. and we know all God's children are in. And we're seeing your comments Caneo. and you're that's in. Right. I love in, it. In, in, in. <laughs> Go ahead and hop on yeah. in May, the 21st through the 27th, 21st through the 27th. That will start on a Sunday morning and then end at midnight on the 27th, okay? So a minute past midnight, no more deal. But you save $25, half price right. again. So uh, if you're a brand new student, perfect. If you're a returning student, let's hop on in May. And that just helps us kind of get an idea of the projection. That's right. We want to properly prepare for everyone. We want to make sure we've got all of our ducks in a row. And so that is the seven days of May, 21st to the 27th. That's right. Amen. Love it. Yeah. So next big event coming up, if you just want to make a note of this mentally, is graduation. Now, wait a minute. Does everybody graduate or just those completing year four? Everybody that is in the diploma program, if you are year one student, year two, three, or four, you will all be recognized at graduation. Yes. And so we want to encourage you, if you uh, are able to come and be with us, we're going to make a way for you to let us know that you're coming, going to participate in graduation. And what a great time for Canal students from all over the country Listen. to come together and celebrate their graduation time. It's so much fun. Last year was a party. It was a blast. It was fire. And there is no service like full of Caneo students. We couldn't even let a word go by. We're jumping out of our seats. So excited. So plan to be here with us. Let us know. We'll put that in your portal here in a few weeks coming up. Because right, right, again, right. we want to plan. We want to prep. We want to make sure there's enough seats for y'all. So plan on coming Sunday. June 25th. And then, of course, stay for revival. We got prayer Saturday night, 6 p.m. You can partake in that service or graduation service on Sunday morning. And then revival Sunday evening. So get in the water. Go home change. Yeah, I want to encourage everybody. If you're going to come to graduation, you may as well do it all. That's right. I mean, just come. You need to come on Saturday. So you can come to prayer on Saturday night, as you said. That's right. Full day on Sunday. Stay for revival. Be immersed on Sunday night. What a way to end your school year. And then if you can, we have service or we have prayer service on That's Monday right. night. And then you go home on Tuesday. Amen. But just make a weekend of it. Relax. Come and enjoy. Meet Caneo students from all, all over, over the place. And I'm telling you, the building will be full of Caneo students. And it is a celebration. It is. Uh, I know Caneo students from all over. They are held in high esteem. And especially here in Dawsonville at Christ Fellowship Church. I mean, the the the, uh, the hallways part when a Caneo student comes down the hallway. And so there is great honor and great respect for our Caneo students. And it's going to be across the board. So mm -hmm. a lot of neat things planned for that weekend. And again, it's just a great time to meet each other. Yeah. And the Caneo students from out of state, you get to walk into the classroom that you see each uh, each week, yeah. and you'll get to meet other students. You'll get to meet the staff in person. It's just a great time. So June the 25th 
It will be the Sunday after Father's Day. Now, you will, of course, finish school long before that. First week of June, we're done pretty much. And uh, that gives us time to prep for graduation. So that is June the 25th. So all the years upon completion, if you completed year one, you can walk the stage and be recognized. Year two, you, upon completion, you get to be recognized. Year three, year four, okay? But I want to touch on something you just said. So in the audience of graduation is students from all over the country. So Pastor Karen, I've already been blown up by new reach outs of interest in Canal campuses. So if you guys know anything about just the role that I played here at Canal, I love me a Canal campus. I don't care if you are in Washington, Texas, Maine, Australia, Europe, like I want to talk with you. So if you're somebody sitting there listening to this thinking, wait a minute, is a Canal campus possible in my area? Could I play a role in that? Tag your pastor or maybe just reach out to me on this live comment and um, let's connect. Let me talk to you about what it does look like to be a Canal campus. Um, it's actually decently easy, dare yes. I say that? Yes, yes, and let me tell you something. If you are an online student and you, uh, you participated in Canal, you were at home, doing everything from home, and you have, I know you've thought this probably a hundred times, man, I would love to have this in my church. Yeah. I would love to have this in my church, but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get the ball rolling. Listen, that is what Amber is all about. That is one of the primary roles of, uh, that's one of her primary roles here uh, at, with us at, at Caneo. She's the person, she's the connection. If you will give your pastor her information, or go ahead and you call her if you've even talked with your pastor and he says, yes, I'm interested, you know, have Amber call me. We can make that connection and just let her do all that legwork for you. And she is does an exquisite job explaining all the ins and the outs and the ups. There are no downs. All the ups to Caneo to a pastor. And guys, listen, it is one of, as you said, the easiest things that a church can do to sponsor a Caneo campus as far as, you know, the responsibilities and things right. like that. We do the legwork for you. It is basically just uh, having the technology, clicking in every week, making sure everybody's in place, everybody's got what they need, and watching the live lecture. Yeah. And we know from experience, and those of you that are watching that are on a campus, you know from experience, it changes a church. Yes, it does. It will change a church. It will ready a body of people to uh, to carry revival, to carry a move of God, to host the presence of God. And, and you guys know this. When you are confident in what you know, you're yeah. confident in the Word of God, it's going to be a help to your pastor. Yeah. And so that's how Amber is going to sell Caneo. That's how she's going to you know sell it to your pastor, that it's only going to help your church. So if you're interested and you're dreaming, man, I wish we had Caneo campus at our church. Contact Amber. Go to the website. Find her picture under the staff. Her her uh, email address is there. Email her like now because, listen, it is March. That's right. September's going to be Mid here before March. we know it. Mm -hmm. And so she's got she's to get boots on the ground in your area talking to your pastor about this. And, again, you know what? Uh, uh, he can get himself a campus coordinator, and he can handle everything through his person who is going to work with Amber, and it will be, it'll be a tremendous blessing. Let me tell you this. Your pastor will thank you, and I always tell the pastors I'm going to take it off their plate so right. that they don't even have to worry about it. So while you might see some pastors pop on this page who will be speaking out here in the next couple of months raving about how it has changed each and every student in their classroom, please know that I don't have to bug your pastor. Once he says yes, I can absolutely leave his full plate alone, and we can make sure Caneo comes to his body to build up so that his people aren't just concerned consumers, but contributors to the mission and the vision of what Jesus is doing right there in your region. So good. Tell us some places in the nation. Where are our campuses? Just off the top of your head, quick, quick, quick. Oh my goodness. Washington State, Maine, Indiana, 
Uh, we have a few, obviously, in Georgia. We have South Carolina. We have uh, Virginia. We have Florida. We have no Texas yet, by the way. Give me some Texas. Come on, Texas. I need some Texas. Yes. Um, so we have Arizona. You guys, we are all over the place. Doesn't matter if you're Pacific Northwest, up in Maine, down south in Florida. Um, every single state needs Caneo. So we we've, we've got uh, some things brewing and this is all I'll say at this point. Secrets. There's some things brewing in some faraway places. Yes, I know. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But we are excited. And uh, we think that Caneo is the best program. We think it's the best program out there or we wouldn't be doing this. That's right. But guys, listen, it is all about growing in the things of God. A person, a believer has got to move from just following the Lord to being a disciple. There's a big difference, and you do not ever want to be a part of that crowd that's mentioned in the Bible that says, and they followed him no more. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, uh, believers get just get discouraged in life, just get discouraged because they're not grounded. And so, Caneo's going to ground you. But we're talking to the choir. These people already know. <laughs> that's right. So, go tell somebody that doesn't know. Amen? So, so, how about this? If you love the buffalo, go ahead and give us some hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Let us see your hearts. Hopefully you saw the buffalo um, on our page and the write-up. We know we love the buffalo. Love the buffalo. And we are all buffaloes. We're not the cow. The cow will run from a storm. Mm -hmm. We'll turn around and run from the storm. But the buffalo sees the storm and says, you know what? That's a bad-looking storm. But I know if I will push through, I will get through to the other side. I'll be on the other side of this thing. And the storm will be behind me in my dust. Right. And so that's what a Caneo student is all about. We're going to push through the storms. Storms are going to come and go. But we're going to push through. We're not going to run. Not going to run in fear. And so, again, I just want to encourage you, don't forget about May 21st through the 27th. Go ahead and get registered and push through. Now, in closing, I want to say this, and I'm going to pitch it back to you for closing remarks okay. as well. Listen, students, set it in your heart and mind to do, I was thinking about this the other day, to do all four years of Caneo. Please, because let me tell you something. You will have me in years one and two. Yep. But then listen, you're going to have Dr. Roberts Larridan in year three. And Dr. Philip Fields from Peachtree City, right down near Atlanta, who is a revivalist and who is, both of these men Solid. are experts in revival, revival history, right? Yes. They're experts. This is their topic. You do not want to leave this earth one day and you did not sit under those two men. I mean, Robert Slayerton wrote right. the God's General series, yes. like, come on, right? I mean, left and right, these two exquisite men of God, no revival. And you've got the opportunity to sit under them. Now, some Canal students have completed year two and you stopped. You're come robbing yourselves. Yes, come on, back. come on back. You need to take year three like this fall. Yeah. If you're near a campus, you need to do it live. If you're in Georgia near Dawsonville, you need to come to Christ Fellowship. If there's no other way than for you to do it at home, totally fine. <laughs> okay? Our buffalo went away. It's all right. <laughs> and so, you need to get under these men. Then year four, that is a leadership emphasis. So good. You have got to go into the year four, four program under Jeff Lyle. Pastor Jeff Lyle is an incredible teacher. He does not miss a beat. And so, you're going to get full-blown leadership yeah. emphasis classes. Yes. He's teaching his last class this year. Is on I King know. David. I know. What? I don't want to wait a year and a half I for know, that. I know, I know, I know. And so, listen, you can't stop the program. Get your years one and two in. Those are your foundational classes. Then keep going. Yeah. You want to sit under these other professors. Yeah. Amen. So, Amen. closing comments. Amber, what you got? Well, and if you want to tack on to that, you can also get a degree. Did you guys know we oh. offer a bachelor's degree? Isn't that amazing? So anyways, here's the thing. 
We sure love all y'all. Please stay tuned to this page because I have some fun inquiries that are coming, some fun little teasers that we know about, and we want your input on a lot of it. So visit this page daily. Give us your thoughts. Give us your comments. Let us know. We want to hear from you. Uh, tag your friends. Share it. Do all the things that make social media fun. We're so glad to spend some time with you today on this Monday post-revival of fire, like every Sunday. And we look forward to our next time with you. Bye. See you guys.